Hey everybody, it's Rhonda. So um, I really wanted to leave you with a message today because some very significant things are happening today for me. And I'm also sitting on a stability ball right now, so if I'm a little unstable, it's because I'm trying to get the best lighting for videos, which is important. So I see that a lot of people are getting frustrated and there's all kinds of things, you know, people are saying no, people are uh, you know, not responding and I'm not gonna get in success club. And I just want you to know that this is part of the process. People are going to say no. There's going to be rejection. There's going to be ups and downs, ebb and flow. Um, that's part of, you know, being a successful coach is learning how to get through the adversity. Number one, you have to work on yourself. You have to plug into personal development. I say it over and over and over and over and over again because if I hadn't done that, I wouldn't be sitting here today about to tell you what and why today is such a great day for me. I've had many setbacks. I've had many things that I haven't been able to accomplish that I probably should have by now. I've, you know, a lot of disappointment. But also, I've had a lot of really, really awesome things happen. And the reason is because I stayed the course. I continue to invest in myself. I've invested in myself more than I probably have in anything else because I know it's what is going to get me through uh, the battles and the humps and all the, the ups and downs. But ever since I started, my number one reason was to be present for my son, to be able to take him to school in the morning, pick him up at night. And today is his very last day of daycare. He's been going on and off sporadically through the summer and next week school starts and when school starts I'm going to drive him to school in the morning and I'm gonna pick him up at night all because I stayed true to my reason why I'm doing this I'm doing this to create freedom for our family I'm doing this to be present for my son and despite everything I've gone through and disappointments and, and everything that we've encountered and adversity. I've never given up. I've always stayed true to that promise to myself. I read it every single morning. I am a person of influence. I empower people. I motivate people. I give people courage to, to do things they never thought they could do. I read it over every single morning so I know why I'm doing this. And today that is validation for everything. I'm about to go pick him up for the last time from his daycare. And they're really sad because they love him. But to leave him and to bring him home from an environment where he's been treated so well for, for nine years and to be able to provide that for him myself now is the greatest gift I can give to him. So don't ever give up. You're going to be discouraged, but don't ever give up. Figure out why you're doing this. Figure out really, really deep down why you're doing this and you'll be able to get through all those battles. Trust me.